Welcome back to another episode where we learn the Moog Model 15 iPad app. In this episode, let's check out the amplifier modules. So in, in this device, we have two voltage-controlled amplifiers right here. We'll play around with those today. And there's another amplifier module right here that we'll play around with. All right, so what I have rigged up is a simple patch similar to tutorial one, where it's going from a sine wave um, through the Nano 4A uh, low pass filter and then into the voltage controlled amplifier. Let's listen to what that sounds. So nothing, nothing too fancy. Alright, let's see how we can modify this signal. Let's try passing in um, some pink noise to the voltage control input. Let's turn that down a bit. So you can see the, uh, the noise comes through pretty well. So if I don't hook up the envelope generator, it doesn't seem to seem to work. Let's go the other way where we hook up pink noise as the input. And then let's let's control that with a sine wave. Should be able to get this working somehow. I also also have to do this. Let's see if we start to get the sound wave coming through. Change to a square wave, rectangular wave. Let's change your um, change your from us from noise to just a sine wave. So you can hear how this rectangular wave is altering the control input of this voltage control amplifier and making this kind of unique, unique pattern. And since I'm doing a rectangular wave, I can control the width of it. Now this frequency drives both the sine waves, both this, both this sine wave and this rectangular wave, so it's changing both simultaneously. So we have this fixed control voltage, which is additional gain. So if we apply additional gain to it, that rectangular wave kind of gets overridden. And it either can be in linear or exponential mode. So this is linear.
trying to play around with the control input to see how kind of unique sounds you can make. Alright, let's run the output of this. Oops. Not that one. This output from the trunk line instead to this amplifier section down here. And then we'll run the output to a trunk line. And now it's at 1, which means 100%, I believe. You can go all the way up to 600%. So you can make it really loud. So I think it's pretty standard am amplifier. Just kind of uh, boosting the signal. Instead of doing this green line here, let's uh, let's route this orange line to the, one of these amplifiers, and then route this guy up to there. So now I can boost the strength of the sine wave control input. So you can kind of really hear the sound wave come, the sine wave coming through. It's a saw wave, sawtooth wave. Triangle wave. So realize this triangle wave is just modifying the ampl the amplitude of the modifying the control input of this amplifier and what the control what the the real signal is a sine wave over here, so we can switch this to a triangle wave, or a sawtooth, or even pink, pink noise. Sounds real crazy. Try running it to the mixer, and then from the mixer, it's actually coming through. We'll go there. Try also running the phase inverted guy. Now, if I notice, so if I do the plus and minus of the phase invert outputs both running to the control inputs. I think they're going to cancel each other out. That's why you hear nothing. Which is kind of interesting. Alright, let's check out the manual, see if we missed anything. So if we go down 
with the amplifier section. So we have the 902 voltage controlled amplifier. The fixed control knob determines the amount of gain. The control mode switch switches between linear and exponential. After the and that applies to both control inputs and to the fixed control voltage after they've been summed. The VCA modules can be used to provide a changing level for any signals passing through them. Try patching the sine wave output from an oscillator in LFO mode into the control input of a 902 to create tremolo effects. So we try to do that. The signal connected to the upper signal input will appear 180 degrees on out of phase on the upper signal output jack and the normal lower signal output jack. The opposite is true for the lower signal input jack. The upper signal is normal and the lower is 180 shifted. Amplifiers extension cabinet. This bonus module contains two summing amplifiers designed to boost the level of an audio or control signal by up to six times. All right, so that's basically all that does. So pretty simple modules. All right. Take a look at more modules next time. See ya.